I'm Dr. Tom with EBM Fitness Solutions, and let's fix your rowing or pulling technique. We're gonna talk about rows specifically here, but this actually applies to any pulling exercise you do in any kind of a row. I'm gonna use the pulleys for this, bands, dumbbells, uh, straps, like TRX type things. It also applies to pull downs, uh, even like pull ups, chin ups, things like that. So what we need to learn how to do is let the shoulder blades drive the motion. What that means is, at some point, shoulder blades gonna stop moving, right? And if we go beyond that, we run into some potential problems here. So what am I talking about? So if I'm gonna do a row, like a single arm kind of a row, right? What I wanna do is I wanna squeeze my shoulder blade and pull my elbow back. I don't focus on the hand and the wrist. The problem with that, if I pull with my hand, it tends to automatically do this and get me uh, pull me forward a little bit and up, which I don't want to be in. The other problem we run into is it tends to cause our wrists to flex, which might seem like, ah, no big deal, what's, what's the harm in that? The problem you can run into, and you won't get it initially, but you'll get it eventually, is what's called the common flexor tendon. So on the front side of our forearm, a bunch of the forearm muscles converge into one tendon and it meets up on the inside part of your elbow. We have one on the back side, it goes to the other side of the elbow too. But what happens with uh, repeated flexion against resistance like that is it starts to inflame and irritate that tendon. So you can get tendonitis. Then what it starts off is, you know, achy, not too bad, but it can progress to being difficult to pick up a cup of coffee, to do anything that requires any grip strength at all. So if you don't have it, great. This is one way you can help to avoid stuff like that is with good rowing techniques. So make sure when you pull, Squeeze your shoulder blade, pull the elbow back, but understand that your shoulder blade is going to stop at some point, right? Think about this, shoulder blades right and left here, they come towards the spine when we row, right? We pinch them back. They cannot cross over the spine, okay? So at some point they're going to stop. That's where your row should stop. Okay, which means if you're used to pulling way the heck back here, you're gonna have to change how you do it, and it's gonna feel weird. It's gonna feel like you're not, it's gonna feel like you're doing a tiny, tiny range of motion. Don't focus on that, focus on the shoulder blade. Focus on squeezing the shoulder blade every time. But now here's the kicker though. When you come back this way, you've gotta release that shoulder blade. It's gotta come forward a little bit so you can squeeze it again on the next rep. A lot of times what people do, they might get that initial squeeze and then they lock it in and then it's all arms, then it's all wrist, it's all forearm, it's all elbow because your shoulder blade is stuck in that pulled back or retracted position. So you've got to initiate the pull and then release it slightly without twisting your body, right? So it's a subtle difference. I'm not, I'm not twisting and turning. I don't want to get here and turn my body, but what I need to do is I need to get here and release it just enough so that I can use it again on the next rep. So next time you do any kind of rowing, lighten up your weight and practice on, practice using the shoulder blades and the elbows, whether it's single arm or both arms together, but then also practice on learning how to release the shoulders a little bit. Again, it's not collapsing forward. It's just thinking about your shoulders coming together towards your spine and letting them kind of come apart a little bit so you can pull them together again on your next rep. And that has to happen every single time you pull. Each rep has to have, has to have the uh, shoulders come together and then they have to come apart a little bit before coming together again, rinse, repeat. But you'll get more out of your rowing exercises. You'll allow the emphasis to stay in the upper back where you want it and it puts less stress in the joints and those forearm extensor tendons and flexor tendons, which trust me, you do not want any kind of a headache with those because it becomes a, a big nuisance. And if it's bad enough, you can't exercise for a while. It really gets ugly. So let's avoid that situation altogether. Focus on pulling shoulder blades and elbows and learn how to let the shoulders go just a little bit before pulling on your next rep.